Well, hello, and welcome back to Idle Kingdom Defense. So today, 17, 275, and of course, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And what are you going to do? You are going to make sure to ring that bell. That said, 17, 275, I said it again. We're taking B team, and I'm going to talk about that while we're in King's Room. So I get a lot of questions why I'm running, uh, the Warriors I'm running, and again, the entire thing is, I run the Warriors I run just because of how it works out. So there's not a sixth warrior with crowd control. So without a sixth warrior for crowd control, this is what this is the best I can do. But yeah. The best I can do. So it is what it is. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put our music on. The sound of battle. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, this is farm team. Farm team, you don't want crowd control on, because then it can just delay cycling through. Yeah, it is what it is. Also, I love taking my farm team for King's Run, because then I don't have to switch. Like, switching teams isn't really that bad, but it's one less thing I have to do. I'm going to have to start switching again when we push, because we're going to have to use the big boy team. But, you know, that will... When that happens, that happens, and we'll deal with it then. Almost there. And AoE stages. They are nothing special at all. Nothing at all, man. So, I mean, we just AOE him down. No big deal. I will have to figure out what we're going to do with King's Run when uh, we push. That's a question. Obviously, we're not going to skip it. Um. And I, I and honestly, when we when we start, it won't be too big. It won't be too different. I don't think. At least I don't think it'll be too different. I think the first day will be free. Because King's Ruin doesn't scale up until you, uh, until the next day. But I'm kind of curious what's going to happen. I can't believe I'm only have two max level characters. That's kind of crazy. I remember when Christian didn't even have over, like, two million attack. All right, we're going to buff. All right, here we go. Oh, 
But we're gonna crush it in 7,000 stages. Slowly and surely. Marion actually tore this up. We're going to have to take a look at how she did this because that was really quick. Yeah, 74%. Yeah. <coughs> it felt like she just dominated. <coughs> and here we go. Nice chill stage 12. Even 13 and 14 aren't even, aren't even not chill now. Marion is just so good at killing the, uh, killing them when they line up like that, you know? And now for 13. 13, 14, easy. Easy. Just look at them. Line, she, they don't, by the time they line up, she's taking them down. Like, that's incredible. Especially when you remember how long these used to take. And 14. How, how much damage did she do? 89. This is what I'm talking about. This is why Marion, on those stages that take longer, she just destroys them. It's not even close. We're going to see the same thing here. It's just the perfect pattern for her. Okay, she killed some stuff up front. Yeah, that is a problem when there's loose stuff around. But there we go. There we go. And finally, this will be easy. Oh, you know what? Let's go take a look at damage. I forgot to look. I wanted to see it. Seventy-nine percent. Not even a. Not even remotely surprised. I do think area would have been an interesting stat to have in this game. Like, imagine if her wave was a little bit wider, hit more things, you know? Yeah, I'm totally stealing it from Vampire Survivors, absolutely. And 618. So, once again, as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And as always, thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.